So I was browsing YouTube one day and I came across a video of a guy using an energy drink can and a heat gun to completely restore his headlights to clear condition. And that kind of intrigued me a little bit. I wanted to figure out what the heck was going on in this video. So to begin, I took these headlights and sanded them to 1500 grit. I won't bore you with the video on completely sanding this, but here's a little example of how that might have looked. Oh, hey, just sanding my headlights. It is pouring down rain here, so please excuse the noise. I'm gonna attempt a different method using something similar, using pure acetone. And this is basically just an electric kettle. You can buy these online anywhere. I got mine off of eBay. If you're into 3D printing at all, you'll know that acetone is used for vapor smoothing ABS parts when they come off the printer to make them have a shiny texture. So it melts the ABS a little bit. A similar kind of effect happens to polycarbonate, but at the same time, it also embrittles it. So you gotta be careful when doing this. Matter of fact, just don't do this. Originally, I was gonna print a cone shape to direct the vapors out better, but I think I'm just gonna cheat and drill a hole through this and stuff a hose through it. All right, and there's our apparatus. So with acetone, the flash point is very low on this, so working with anything with heat or flames, be very, very careful. And I'm doing this in a well-ventilated environment. I'm not gonna fill it all the way to the max. I'm gonna go about halfway up. All right, so I'm gonna set it to 195. All right, correction, 195 is way too hot. Probably get away with 140, honestly. By the time I hit 135, it started spraying everywhere. So I was like, yeah, it's probably a little too much. It's already going. So let's continue going at it. Barely takes anything at all. Well, first attempt was a massive fail. So what happened was this thing, when it's fully going, tends to spit and sputter acetone out the top. But it did seem to do where it didn't spatter a pretty decent job. So round two involves just simply using a heat gun. If all we're trying to do is melt the plastic, why wouldn't a heat gun just work? Well, with the heat gun method, it's plausible that it works pretty well. Only thing is you get a little too rowdy and it melts right through like that. It didn't take much at all to get there. So I'm gonna use this as a round two with the acetone and see if I could just be a little more careful. It's already launching. All right, I think I figured it out. This thing is way too much horsepower for this. So maybe the heat gun in a energy drink can probably is the better method. Once I get it up to temp and it starts spitting out the top, I would just shut it off and you have a few seconds to move along on it. Once you get past the flaws of the application method, it actually produces a pretty decent result for not having to do anything. But you could still see a slight haze where I was just too scared to keep going. I bet if I worked on it longer, it would produce a better result. Yeah, I think with the light buffing and some ceramic coat or a clear coat, I think this thing would look brand new again. That being said, if you're gonna go that far anyways, you might as well just use a buffing compound and do it the right way. So I can't say I'd recommend this method because it's impractical, especially with all the risks involved. Anyways, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Love, peace, and chicken grease.